What's up guys, it's Meg. Welcome back to Meg After Dark. Today I am watching the latest Fear the Walking Dead episode. Uh, it is season five, episode six. Let's get started. How they get to just be kids for a little minute. <laughs> we do. You can't go anywhere near those radiation signs. We know. <sighs> then how do you plan on getting out of here? We'll show you. You mind opening the gate? Oh snap. They get themselves another plane or something? <laughs> and having to live with them. So they but just went and got everything. We fixed the plane. And we fly back across the mountains. Together. <laughs> I don't know why this seems a little impossible, but okay. I mean, that plane is in pieces. Okay. We found some people I think you're gonna wanna meet. Did you copy? I repeat, do you copy? Oh, she copied and she don't give a shit. Sorry, Morgan. I mean, how do they have any clue how to fix this? Know how to fix the reduction gear on a 575 horsepower turbo prop. He doesn't need to. <laughs> Somebody needs to. <laughs> reduction. Okay. Good thing they have Al. Oh god, something's gonna happen. I know it. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm like, it's gonna go flying off or something. <laughs> Oh shit, it is, it is, it is! Get down! Oh my god, it is. Whoa. Is everybody okay? Was that the reduction gear? Shit, that could have taken off one of their heads. Do you have a generator there? We do. Why? I need you to unhook it. Gas it up and then I need you to get it ready for transport. Um, what? <laughs> What's going on, Grace? It's a plan. If you don't do as I say, there's gonna be another meltdown. So they have to give up their generator? Oh my god. We're going dark, Strand. We have to give up the Jenny. Luciana, listen. We're gonna find a way to get you back. I don't know how, but we will. So now they don't even have the communication between them anymore? That's so crazy. There's got to be a way. Sarah, did you say you and Wendell got everything from Jim's brewery? Everything. Son of a bitch. What? Did he have a plane? We're gonna get him back. <laughs> I looked at it, I didn't see it. <laughs> that woman Morgan left with? She's from the power plant, isn't she? This girl needs to calm down, dude. Dylan, Max, this isn't gonna work. What is her deal? We can't stay here. Whoa, Does hey, she know hey. something about the woman from the power plant or some shit? I don't understand. Back to hiding behind the dead. And the only reason I'm still alive is because of her. I owe her my life. I just keep wondering if they're I ever even gonna find her alive, though. When I was. That's just a few letters shorter, honey. Oh no, it's such a. I need a pencil. <gasps> There's stains all over it. I was always hoping to try it when I was a cop. Never got the chance. Storm is coming, can't stay on 30. I've been looking on the wrong road this whole time. What did it say? Oh, I missed it. Okay, who said you could take all their shit? Honestly. My mom and dad wouldn't even let me come in the cabin. They told me not to be afraid. They they said they were going to get better. Mm. Promised to stay where we were. So that, that is what I'm doing. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't trust these grown-ups. Like... <laughs> All of the 
explanations that these characters give for like what they're doing, it never really makes sense to me. It's like, that's not a reason to go hide in the woods now when you have people who are gonna help you. So you understand why we can't leave. But why can't you? No, I don't understand that. That literally doesn't make any sense to me. Oh, there's a letter. <gasps> Uh-oh, is it a long one? Gee, I had to kill someone. A man back at that diner. But I still don't like the thought of you out there looking for me and all that death. Mm. I don't want that for you, Dee. Oh, no. I don't no. Want you to kill yourself trying to find me. Oh, no. I no more notes. With that. Uh, fucking place, Sherry. So this will be my last letter. Oh, find no. Find to for and live. I love you forever. Honey. Honey, what were you thinking? Can you imagine having looked for her for that long only to come to like a dead end like that? Fuck. Oh, I feel so bad for him. They're in range. Where are you? They're in range. Hey, I told you we find a way. How? Did you find a road? Are they in a hot air balloon? to this journey. You might want to look up. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> that is so funny. <laughs> Annie, Max, you gotta see this. Oh, they're already gone. <gasps> Did they leave? Shit. Did all the they took all the kids with them? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> she was here. Yeah. Like he said, when, when he when better he tell him others. about the letter. I no, swear to God. To if he doesn't tell her, you tell him. You. Did you find anything in the car? Oh, good. Okay. No, nothing. Oh, fuck. No. Thank you. Oh, this is the closest I've been to find a cherry in a long time. He doesn't want to, like, dash his oh, hopes, but. Ugh, fuck. I don't like it when they're not truthful with each other, though. I don't know. Short of fuel. <gasps> Shit. We have to bring it down. Strength. Shit. Charlie. Oh my god. They crashed. Max. Dylan. Oh yeah. Alicia really, she's really gonna risk her life for these kids. I'm going in. Oh my god. I cannot take the stupidity of the show, I swear. Yeah, me too. Oh shit. Yay! Said to stay away from the walkers. Yeah. That could probably be a challenge. Oh, they are all contaminated. Okay, don't just stand there, run! Go the other way! Oh my god. Sometimes I really can't with the show. <laughs> okay, I know they need to get like the propellers and stuff, but honest to god. Morgan said not to not to kill any of the to stay away from the walkers. That could prove challenging as they stand completely still staring at all the walkers coming at them. Like, really? run somewhere else or something oh my god um okay what did you guys think of this episode um i felt like i didn't really have a lot of reactions in it it was mostly just sitting and watching it um i i just i i'm finding so many things that are kind of just irritating me with the last couple episodes here um like the kids running off again despite what like their reasoning is just shit for running off um alicia de so determined to save these kids that clearly don't want to be saved that she's going to risk her life going into an entanglement of way more walkers than she should be able to handle on her own just to get to these kids who don't want to be found 
Uh, I mean, I could just go on and on. I hate that they lie to each other, so I hate that Althea is keeping the secret, as well as now John. John found a letter, and I get that he wants to save Dwight from that heartbreak and how, like, it's really awful. It is. Uh, it's awful that that Honey would lead him on this wild goose chase for God knows how long, only to cut him off and be like, I'm done. Like, I'm not gonna leave you any more notes. It's just like, fuck, dude. Like, it's so irritating that she did that, but also that John wouldn't tell him. Like, I hate that they keep secrets from each other. I don't know. Maybe I'm just more of like a practical type person. Like, I'm typically honest. <laughs> most of the time, uh, you know, but I swear to God, I don't know. I don't know, I didn't love it. I don't like this grace thing where, you know, it's like they're just spending so much fucking time trying to save these people that don't want to be saved, that don't want your help, you know? And then building a fucking plane that's crashed, like who even knows how to do that? And I find it like really hard to believe that a plane that crash landed and was in pieces can be put together by people who have no idea what they're doing or maybe like minimal knowledge but really they were able to put a whole plane back together and then get a hot air balloon and fly in some propeller like i don't know i just find it like really far out there and kind of hard to believe so i don't know let me know what you guys thought of the episode maybe you guys thought differently and actually liked it um but yeah, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. I did really enjoy the Dwight, you know, seeing that Dwight's getting more screen time here now that he's on this series. Um, I, I did like kind of seeing where he's at mentally in trying to find Sherry and seeing him get closer to John and like talk about a little bit about what's happened. He's opening up a little bit. I don't like that he, seeing that he's so excited for this and having John lie to him. Like it just, it really bumps me out. So um, that's it for this episode, you guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. And I will see you next week. I hope you have a great night. Bye.